Also breaking right now, six people shot in a drive-by shooting in Olney at Broad Street and Chu Avenue. Sadly, uh, sadly, one man was killed. Natasha Brown is now on this breaking story. She's been on it all afternoon. She has the very latest from the scene. Natasha. Well, good evening to you, Yuki and Jessica. You can see here now that after a few hours or so, Chu Avenue has opened up to traffic, but this was an active investigation up until a few moments ago. We can tell you that multiple shooting victims were found in the midst of more than a dozen shell casings here along Chu Avenue. Police are still searching for the suspect in this case, and residents in this area are just fed up with the violence. An active investigation plays out near the intersection of Broad and Chu in Olney. A brazen broad daylight shooting took place just after 2 p.m. on Monday in a busy area where there is lots of pedestrian and vehicular traffic. More than a dozen shell casings litter the street. Police gave us an update from the scene, and one man walked us through his near encounter with the gunfire. All six victims were standing on the south side of Chu Avenue when the shooting occurred. So far, we have at the scene are 18 fire cartridge casings, and we have multiple videos. So hopefully, that video will help us um, with our investigation. The one they shooting all the time, they here selling drugs all the time, oh, yeah. and the cops knows about it, but nobody never do nothing about it. Yeah. So this is pretty scary, though. You were just over. Yeah, I'm scared to death. The shooting victims range in age from 19 years old to 28. A 26 year old man was killed. Five others, including a female, are all hospitalized at Einstein Medical Center, just blocks away from the scene. Councilmember Cindy Bass is calling out the mayor in light of rising violence throughout the city. This should not be happening. And wh where is our mayor? We need help. We need leadership. We need it here in this neighborhood, in this community, and we need it now. The this is ridiculous. Well, we know that police on bicycles and on foot were in this area. They heard the gunfire. They were able to respond right away, so that is a good thing. Meantime, we know that police are right now looking for a Chrysler 300, a silver Chrysler 300. They believe in this case that the shooter was in the back seat, his accomplice was driving. That is the very latest for now. We're live in Olney. Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Natasha, thank you.